What is up guys? This is JC Gaming and we're back with another video. So we're on um EOA and I have a lot of updates to over today and also some new code so Party limit has been increased, so you know, especially with guilds, you know how we usually only can have like four members in the party at a time. Now we can have up to ten members in a party. Let me find this person where he is. And so, they said that they updated the um the party members thing to the party members icon so let's see being on one one two one six four i don't know where it is with people and these hard long names but i sent him one i don't know if he's gonna accept it okay there it goes so that's been updated um it does look a lot brighter it looks way better than what it did that they added a new global guild leaderboard so uh it shows the points your guild has accumulated and basically what that means is you gain points by like fighting bosses and doing quests with your guild the more guild members you have you know the more points you can get so um that's pretty neat i'm not sure what the points can be used for but i'll probably check it out and do another video on it that help better the harder the boss okay so yeah you get points based on how hard the boss is and all that stuff um Helm eyes great sword drop it's fixed so now the the eight the Helm eyes boss drops a great sword um i'm pretty sure it's gonna do a lot of damage i got the eyes from it but i've never you know seen the sword all that stuff um see what else money dropping system change so you now have to type something like slash e withdraw slash e withdraw and then the amount is slash e and oh, okay so it's just slash e withdraw you say the amount and um it'll put it in your hands i'm pretty broke right now Get more for turning in people. This is how that person turned me 
man after beating me. Uh, let's see what else. Level cap is raised to 420, so that's one of the big things here. Um, at first, level cap was like 150. I was really close to max level. You know, because you see I'm level 137, but they boosted it all the way up to 420, so good luck with that. And since they did add a new boss, which I'm going to get to in a minute, um, it should be pretty, you know, well, we'll have more missions and stuff to level up higher. Let me see. When unlocking the page, it now tells you where to find it. So, um, usually it won't say anything. It'll just say new page unlocked. But now when you, when it pops up, it'll say click the button or whatever, and it'll show it in here. They added a feature in settings called Guild Damage. So basically, it disables to that settings mm. damage guild. So you see right here, it makes it so where the owner or whoever of the guild um, can turn it off. So that way, when you're like all doing missions and stuff, you won't hit each other. That's if you have like over 10 members, you know, because you won't often fit in a party. Like us, we have like 30 members and all. So that's another thing I really like. Um, let's see, Lumos has been moved to the starter town. They added the compass to, you see at the top of my screen, where there's a compass thing up here. We didn't have that at first, but they added it so it'd be kind of easier to navigate. Uh, not really easy for me, I don't be paying attention to this and all that stuff. Um, guild leaders can now change the guild colors. It takes about 60 seconds to register across all servers. So, like this, how mine is like a gold type of color. If I wanted to, I could just basically go make that black or whatever. Um, they increased the Yule amount to 500 million, which is a lot. Um, but it's good though, because you know, we have, we'll be able to get more money. Let's see, anything else? They added a cool new death screen effect. Also increased the respawn time. Uh, those in the Awoken Studios group get a small passive XP boost. So if you're in the actual group for this game, you can get like an XP boost, you know, basically like the um, game addiction trait. So that's it. Already talked about the codes. Bosses are no longer um immediately spawned in like private servers so you can't farm it like we used to be able to so you have the private servers basically for nothing unless you just have like a big group or whatever to do it mana skin no longer takes mana it just drains no it, it just um it won't allow you to regen it unless the mana skin is off so that's pretty much it for that capture the flag system you now have to hold x and it makes this big like this really loud noise i did that before he beat me up and put me in jail but so yeah i'll put that clip in here too it'll be on here um you can now wear accessories well they'll look better on you so wings let me see what my eyes look like when i put those on okay well that looks the same but you get it um, they fix people not leveling up from bounties and 2 XP event on right now and it also stacks with your game addiction trade if you have that and I'm guessing it stacks with the XP boost from being in the group so that's pretty much it for that. Um, they did add a new town which I'm going to put a clip of right here so just looking out for that and they added 3 new weapons, 3 new armor sets, 3 new quests and of course the main thing which is the new boss with three um health bar so i'll be putting all those clips up right now the new town and the the new ball so um yeah guys it's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed those codes again at 30 spins so yeah that's pretty much it you know like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next video and he had